to drift through the bayous of Louisiana is to witness the slow demise of an entire coastline. Even cemeteries are being lost to the sea. But for the living, there's much more at stake. Throughout this unique and fertile region, Native American tribes are on the front line of massive land loss and saltwater intrusion. Tribal members on Al de Jean Charles are due to be relocated, but for others, time is running out. From on the boat, we used to pull the marsh grass. That's how narrow the bayou was. Teresa Dardar has lived here most of her life, and predictions that her community may be submerged are hard to accept. And I can't picture that. You know, I, maybe um, like the people that don't believe in climate change and sea level rise, maybe I'm in denial like they are about that, you know. But I guess it's because I want to hold on to it. Massive coastal restoration projects are underway and a series of levees provide vital protection from flooding. But the land loss is staggering. Even when you witness firsthand ghost trees and you hear the tales of how the land is eroding here, it's hard to quantify what's actually happening. But according to one geological survey, this area in 1916 was 10% water. Now it's 90%. Donald Dardar has one of only a handful of gardens left in this community. In years gone by, tribal members grew their own crops, but now many exist on a diet of processed food. And Donald, close to tears when we talk to him, has little hope for the future. Ain't no way. It's going to be, well, I'll say less than 50 years before nothing's done. The prediction is 50 years, but I don't know where or where they get the predictions from. To me, it seems like it will go faster than that, the way we, we lose the land. Louisiana's governors now declared a state of emergency, calling for immediate and urgent action to prevent further damage. But generations of tribal history and culture are under threat. It makes me upset because I'd like my kids and grandkids and future generations to be able to experience what I've been able to experience. So it makes me upset and I wish it would be like this for them, for future generations. A so-called master plan has now been approved with the aim of restoring coastal communities and vital barrier islands. With hurricane season approaching, a unique way of life remains in danger of being lost for good. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Pointe Shan, Louisiana.